Welcome back, friend. Uh, today we're going to look at the cell ribbon here. As you see here, this is called the cell ribbon and located in the home tabs. If you don't understand this one, the tabs ribbon worksheet, please look. Please watch the first video, which is the introduction of Microsoft Excel. I have provided the link in the description. In the description below. Of also, if you're new here, please click subscribe button and turn notification bell. It also is from notify for any come video. Also, I have all the videos that is clipboard font alignment to this one style. You can check there. All the link are located in the description. In the description below. Let's jump into our concern today. You see here, I have written some data here. You see data here. So also here in the cells, you see insert, delete, and format. How we can use them? Example here. If you click the drop down here in the insert. You see there is a insert cut cell, there is a insert sheet row, there is an insert cell. If you click the insert cut cell, this cell will move into this particular, will move right slightly, and here we we'll insert another cell. Example look here. If I click the insert cell here, it says that shift the cell to right or shift the cell to, to down. If I click here, shift the cell to right, you see. The cell has been shifted from here to here and here have been inserted to you to new cell. Let's move into as before here. So you look here. If I click here into insert, also you can see there is a sheet row, there is an insert sheet column and so and so on. So if I can click this see insert sheet row, it means that the row has been inserted here. You see this is a new row and all the data in this particular was shifted to down. As you see, if I click here in the cell and then I click this insert sheet column, it means that the new column has been added here and this all the data here has been shifted into this. So if you have type and make mistake into your typing, you can just see click the cell only and then you can say insert the sheet or so what is the sheet? As you see here down here, it is like writing as a sheet one. Sheet one is that worksheet that you operate in a particular time. If I want you to insert a new sheet, I can simply click here. Plus, I think you can get another sheet. You see, this sheet is empty, but here, this one is the one that I use. Also, we can insert another sheet. I will click here. After select the cell, and then you click the insert drop down menu. You see here, insert sheet. Click. Another sheet has been added. This is the sheet three. You see, it is empty. Also, sheet two is empty. Sheet one is that one that I own right now. So, in Microsoft Excel, in one Microsoft Excel, you can create many sheets. Also, in your cell, you can customize row and the column in your particular worksheet by click just this insert here, drop down. Also. The, the the behind or you can say the opposite of insert is delete so you can use the same one as now delete example if you say delete cell the cell will become delete if i click the delete sheet row the row will become delete you see no row now also if i click those and then say that let's say delete the sheet column the column will be delete you see how the data now we click this the one that they say delete row will be delete. You see how they are delete as you see now. The opposite of insert is delete. Also, if I click this sheet here, now I then click let's say select this sheet the sheet two which is empty. Then you click here, delete sheet, the sheet will be delete. You see how the insert and delete come together. Also, you can get them by just click right, and you see there is an insert here, and there is a delete. You can get them here also. Right click. Also, there is a format of this format cell, as you see. Format cell, you can change how the cell size, say, with the height of their cell, you can change by using this format cell. Click here in the format cell, say that raw height, you can increase the height, let's say 45. Can see how it is increase the size let's say out of film is it will fit the size the height that it, the, the only contain the item also you can say the width let's say 45 
how it is increased the size. So if I want all of them, this data, to have the same size in height and in width, let's say here in height, I can say, let's say, 33. All of them will have the height of 33. Also, if I wanted to change into the width, let's say, let's say it will be 55. All of them will be width of 55, as you see now, how it is looking like. So, easy way to, to change all of them is just by, by coming here into format cell and then change the cell. The word out of it means that the, the height or width will stand for only the, the space for, for containing item. Example, if I click here, out of it height, you see how it is become. If I click here, out of it width, you see how it is become. Only their width and their height is depend on the item that they fill within it, as you see. This is the meaning of word out of it. You see. Also, you can say default width means that it is returned to the first width that it was started in the Microsoft Excel. Or you can say you can set this as the default. Example: I want the default to be let's say 15. Okay, the width for 15 will become different to all other cells, you see? All the cells that are at the width of the 15. Okay. All of it is located in the, in the format, as you see here in the format. Also, you can use visibility, visible, or, in, or hide the, 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 your particular data. Example here, if I click here, 34, this one, and then come into font format style. Let's say let's not activate it like that. Let's activate the cell only. And then come here into hide. Example, let's say hide rows. Row has become hide. You see, there is no A, there is no B1 here. All stand for B2, B1. But B1 is not, not located. Even you, you try to click it, you not find it. See? Just like that. You can say hide your column. You see, all oh, that has been hidden. There's no B here. Even you try to click the B, you will not see. Here. Okay, you will, after click down, if you click, double click, it will return into the into a sheet. Also here, you see hide sheet. Also sheet has been hidden. No sheet one here. All of them are located in the visibility. You can say unhide the row. You can use, let's say, unhide sheet, say sheet one, come unhide, you say sheet one return. You can use in the format here. Yeah. If you have sensitive things that you wanted to hide, you see how they will be returned after clicking on unhide. We have used it. They say, well, what do we don't use? Yes, yeah, all of them we have used. Also, you can rename the sheet. As you see here, it is right as a sheet one. You can use the here renames and write your particular name, let's say G2. See, now our sheet one, has, their name is a G2, as you see here. Also, you can use another here as you move or copy the sheet. You can move the sheet into another sheet. You can copy the sheet. In an example, I want you to, to move into sheet, sheet three. Create copy, say. <laughs> Just I have created the copy of G2 into G22. All of them have the same data. See, this is option of four of move sheet. Tab color, you can use the tab color that you want of the, the word there. Yes, you see the down the name of the, of the sheet that changed the color of the tab. You can change here. All of them you can use here. Also, you can protect your sheet. Example, this sheet I want to be protected. Example, to lock this. Example, I can use the password PPPP. You have to protect your sheet, or you can repeat. Uh, but I don't. Uh, I don't. I put, okay. Yes, I got this. You see, now no data can be selected in your sheet because you all of them you have what. Now somebody can read only and do not change the, the data within the sheet because we have used the protect sheet. If you want to change, you can use and protect the sheet 
But in the past one I don't call the password. No, I do I forget the password because I was writing vigorously so I don't I don't forget. I have to get message, check again. Let's 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 leave it. Let's put into our, into our sheet that we can edit now. In in the format also you can lock the same. You can use all the format set. All of them are in the in there, located here in the in the format of the same form. Also, before moving on, uh, I have finished this video. But what I wanted to tell you that please check all the videos so as to understand. And if you have any question. You can write in the comments below or you can you can join into our telegram because i have given the link below and ask you a question about microsoft excel be hopeful there is many people that can help you to to get this skill of microsoft excel but i want you you, sh you should subscribe our current channel our channel subscribe only you need to be subscribed and also turn notification on so as to become a coming video. Thank you very, very much.